Hello guys, signing his presentation and the official announcement. All of that is settled and the biggest transfer of this summer has finally been made. One of the most intriguing moments in Messi's transfer was his shirt number. Many people expected Leo to accept Neymar's offer to take his number 10 jersey, or that he'd choose number 19, like he wore for two seasons at Barcelona. But none of that has actually happened. The Argentinian eventually chose number 30, and it's not a random choice whatsoever. For the legendary striker, this number is special for many reasons, and today we're going to talk about it in detail. Guys, we're very excited to start releasing new videos more actively, more often, and we hope that you'll appreciate our efforts by liking and subscribing to the channel. Let's roll! The well-known fact, Lionel Messi is a quiet and humble guy off the pitch, and it has always been so. At a young age, the shy Argentinian showed great promise but still was far from the status of being a Barcelona legend, hence he needed the help and advice from experienced players. Barcelona's first squad superstars at that period, Ronaldinho and Deco, noticing Leo's great potential and desire to learn, took care of the young guy. The Brazilian duo helped young Messi in many important ways. For example, they often drove him to training sessions, invited him to their table during lunches at the base, and of course, were helping him with valuable advice on the pitch. As soon as Lionel became good enough to make his debut for the first squad, he still had to decide on a shirt number. And being grateful to his mentors, he chose the number 30 as the sum of their numbers. Ronaldinho played under the number 10, and Deco wore the shirt number 20. 20 plus 10, 30. That's a very interesting approach. This was not the only respectful gesture on the part of Messi. Lionel saved Deco's shirt in his home collection, and he always remembered Ronaldinho's mentoring with great appreciation. Ronaldinho helped me a lot. I came into the dressing room at 16 or 17 years of age. Seeing all those footballing giants made it tough, but he mentored me and made me feel comfortable and I loosened up. Afterwards on the pitch, I always looked for him, Lionel was saying. And that's how it has to be. Modesty, discipline, hard work and gratitude. We mentioned Messi's debut for Barcelona for a reason. This is another crucial factor that made number 30 very important for Leo. On October 16, 2004, La Pulga played his first professional game for the Blaugrana first team. It was the Catalan derby against Espanyol, in which Barcelona head coach Frank Rijkaard substituted the only goal scorer in the game, Deco, for Messi, to come on at the end of the second half. That night, the newcomer wearing number 30 on his back felt for the very first time senior football and realized what it is to be involved in first team success. Remarkably, current PSG head coach Maurizio Pochettino, who is going to work with Lionel for the next few years, also took part in that memorable derby as an Espanyol player. This is how ironic the football world can sometimes be. Thirty is also the number that associates Messi with his first goal for Barca. On the 1st of May 2005, in La Liga Round 34, the Blaugrana took on Albacete at home. In the 88th minute, with a score of 1-0 in favour of the Catalans, Rijkaard gave another chance to 17-year-old Leo, having substituted Samuel Eto'o, who scored the only goal at that time. Two minutes later, the young Argentinian received an exquisite chipped pass and scored by a no less exquisite lob to set the score to 2-0. Since that day, Messi managed to score 671 goals to become the greatest player in Barcelona history. Though his first goal was probably the most memorable and special, because that's how the legend was born. That minute, and with this number on his back. In the 
2005-06 season, Leno started appearing in the lineup more often and even got his time in the Champions League games. In the group stage, Barcelona was in the same boat with Panathinaikos, Udinese and Verde. Messi got his playing time in four of six games and managed to score one goal and make one assist. The next serious challenge for Leo was waiting for him in the two-leg tie against Chelsea in the last 16. Although La Polga didn't score in those games, he looked decent against much more experienced opponents. The Catalans continued their winning streak and moved on, but Messi, unfortunately, wasn't able to take part in the further stages due to a serious injury. Though he anyway received his well-deserved golden medal as their team beat Arsenal in the final game with a score of 2-1. Thus, in his first Champions League victory, Messi also played in his number 30 shirt. It's too good to be just a coincidence. So we've looked at the main references to Messi's number, but the main question still remains. Why did he choose that number again at PSG? It's obvious that for the Argentinian, this number in the Paris team looks like the symbolic resumption of his old stage, and the beginning of the new one at the same time. This is a return to his youth, and to that nervous but pleasant state when he had to prove to everyone that he's a special player. Making his debut, scoring his first goal, his first Champions League victory. The same objectives are in front of Leo in Paris once more. The only difference in comparison with his young age is that now Messi can use his huge experience and recall the mentorship of Deco and Ronaldinho to become a mentor for Neymar and Kylian Mbappe. And that would be very interesting to watch. His words and attitude also speak volumes. At the presentation as a new PSG player, Lionel said, I'm determined to build something great for the club and the fans alongside them. It's pretty obvious that by this great achievement, Leo considers the victory in the main European tournament that seemed unreachable for Le Parisiens without Messi. And Lionel himself has been unable to win this trophy for six years so this is by far the main challenge for him at the end of his club career. This long-term journey should definitely have a happy ending. Dear friends, thank you so much for watching. Stay with us and don't miss out on our new videos. This was the Top Football Channel. Bye-bye.